what's up guys my name is Kobu man and here this is a part three I believe of the series of, of the custom built PC and here is the part where we installed the motherboard and what we have here is a gigabyte um, Heroes of the Storm edition uh, that's a, a video game by Blizzard and here what we have here is a Z170 HD 3P um, Intel motherboard which has LGA 1151 stocking. And in case you've missed my previous videos, I'll go ahead and, um, oh, well, I have already created a playlist, so I'm going to go ahead and put it on the right side over here. So if you look to your right, there will be other uh, previous parts in the playlist. So feel free to check that out, and I'll go ahead and, and a, uh, place a link to the very, uh, um, to the previous video like right about here so you guys can see so let's go ahead and pop this open so we can get this motherboard installed um, fairly quickly okay so let's see what we have here and this was previously opened uh, by my friend uh, that wanted me to build this computer for him this is just the back plate here where you can see where uh, different things are going to stick out from us so this is the back of the PC right so I'm just going to pop this open this real quick up so we can and get a better look. <clears throat> so yeah, just a regular back plate. You know, you can see that uh, where this is your um, you just uh, focus a little bit more um, where your um, Ethernet port. This is a USB here. Uh, this looks like a probably a, a HDMI and whatnot, but uh, this VGA and you know just the regular ports in the back. You know, so I'll show you how that's installed as well. Okay. I want to move this along so we can get to the installing it into the motherboard. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and open this up. And I want to point out a couple of different things uh, because they've been already uh, installed, uh, looks like by, by my friend, which is fine too. But this is a really nice uh, motherboard. Okay, so he already installed the, um, the Vengeance. Uh, of course, their memory right here, uh, double data RAM. Um, this is a total of 16 gigabytes. There are 8, eight gigabytes each. And I'm not going like, to leave you guys hanging by not actually showing how to install this. So I'll go ahead and, and a, uh, uh, post a... Well, actually, I'm just going to uh, put, uh, put a, insert a quick video clip from my previous, one of my early videos. You see the little notch? we got to make sure that matches with our notches right here this one is longer long oops this one's longer and this one is shorter so we gotta make sure that we match it here i see this one is longer and this one is shorter so we gotta make sure that matches and we have little, little tabs here right the little tabs you know, you know make sure that it goes down first make sure you slide it in and then once it's in like that it's not all the way down so we gotta make sure we press, you know, up here, press down, and press down here as well. And then as we press, we're going to move these tabs in, okay? Or these uh, little clips, we're going to move them in. So as we press down on both sides, okay? So here, here, push down, and then be ready to move these tabs up like this until you hear a click. So let's do that. All right. All right. Uh, perfect. Good job, guys. All right how to install uh, RAM, you know, and I apologize because in that video I was kind of, it was, it was just kind of experimenting with you, so the way I was talking was kind of uh, different from from now, you know, but you'll get the gist of it, and the same thing goes here, um, looks like the, uh, let me just flip this around so you guys can see better, but he already pre-installed um, the processor, which is i5, you probably guys can see this, it's Intel i5-6600K, which is a really good processor, running at 3.5 gigahertz each. It's a quad-core processor, and I think it has 6 megabytes on um, level 2 cache, okay? Or you can leave it in there, uh, uh, but let's let's put our processor in. Right, we're just going to move this lever, and then we're going to pull this flappy flap to the side and we're going to put our processor in there okay so it connects well let me show you here make sure you don't bend these needles down here okay 
You see these little needles? I hope you can see it. There's a bunch of little needles. Little needles. They're connectors for the back of that processor. And here, you see how there's little notches? This processor has a little notch. You know, right there. And there's one right there. You want to make sure that aligns. Aligns really good, guys. Well, this little little uh, socket here is what I call a socket. It has a little notches there, too. And this particular one has one right there and one right there. So we're just going to make sure that our little notches align. So that way we can just drop it in. You see that? Since we have one right there, there's one right there, there's one right there, and there's one right there, and there's one right there. Okay? So let's go ahead and drop this thing in. Okay, and just, you know, it's okay to drop it a little bit. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It'll be all right. And then we're going to move this cover over it. Okay, this is going to push on the thing, but that's okay. Don't worry about it. It's okay. And then we're just going to move this lever over. And what we want to do here is make sure this lever, uh, lever, let me make sure this lever attaches to this little hook here. If you see that little hook, there's a little hook, 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 hook. So we're just going to go underneath it. We're going to attach it there. Okay, kids? All right. So let's push it down. It may be a little bit hard. That's okay. And then we're going to let it sit just like that. Did you see that? Now our processor is connected. All right. Another thing he had pre-installed, and this is for our custom um, cooler. It's just really cool cooler. Um, it's really aftermarket. It's, it's li literally a radiator that's going to cool this um, CPU here. And he already installed uh, the, uh, the back plate. So this is the back plate back here. See this here? It's just a um, it's just a back plate that he installed. Um, this whole thing. So he has a back plate installed here, and spacers for. It. This is the back plate, actually, right here. This is the back plate. Okay, so he installed it so that the spacers, and then he screwed in the spacers. Apologies, I'm trying to navigate this as best as I can so you guys can see this. And a little bit of focus. But you see these uh, spacers? This is where our custom uh, heat sink cooler is going to go on top of this so we can kind of screw it down. You know? It's really awesome, guys. You don't want to miss that video. Uh, when I install that because it's really awesome aftermarket it's not something you normally see in a computer at all okay guys so in order to install our motherboard properly you can see this first of all move any cables out of the way but make sure that these spacers are installed there are small spacers here so that way your motherboard can be screwed down right so make sure these are installed right and you know some of the motherboards will have them in different places so just kind of uh, be careful about it. some of the motherboards are bigger, some smaller. This is a full-size ATX motherboard. So we have all these spacers installed so we can take advantage of them. And then here we're just going to slowly um, place our motherboard in and then start screwing it down. So, so of course, first thing we got to install the back plate. So that way it kind of goes like this. Uh, I'm sorry, like this. All right. So this back plate is going to go like this, right? So what we got to do is just insert it in the back of the the, um, uh, the case itself. So when, once we install it, it's going to look like this, right? Okay, so I'm just going to insert it here. This one, I'm going to insert it in the back of the case, which is right here. But, you know, that's what it takes. And I believe it's in all the way. So we're ready to put our motherboard in. So um, to ensure it, okay, first of all, I'll go really slow and just kind of lay it on. I'll lay it on the, onto these spacers, okay? And uh, you can kind of guess whether they're positioned in the right space. In the right spot, see right here, there's a hole for uh, for our screw, which means we have to look for the, where the spacers are and make sure that they align properly to those, right? Same thing goes over here. There's one there, and there's one right there, and there's one right over here. So we just gotta make sure that those align on top of those spacers, okay? But then you gotta also make sure that this kind of slides in on the back plate first. So what I like to do is 
to slowly kind of align it with the back plate first. Make sure it kind of goes in a little bit. There you go. And then it doesn't take any force, whatever. You can just um, hold on, let me shoot. Uh, I think it went out of the camera. So the back plate is right here. So just kind of slowly, you know, slide it in there, you know, like that. Okay. And it doesn't take any effort. You just want to slide that in first and slowly just let it down, right? Use your both hands. It's good to have awesome case like this with a lot of room. So this makes it really easy here. And then, of course, uh, it may be a little bit tight because of the back plate there. You know, so just make sure it's, it's seated properly over there. And that way you can easily align your holes here. Okay, so I found the screws that I want to use for this motherboard. Uh, these are kind of fancy uh, type of screws. Um, usually it would be just normal, regular screws that you would just put in, but these are a little bit fancy, and I'm just going to use these because I want it to be a professional finish and make sure that everything is, you know, matching properly, you know. Oh, yeah, worth the mention, do not over-tighten these, okay? They just need a little bit of force, okay? Don't go crazy on them. I mean, these are electrical components after all, after underneath, okay? So do not tighten them. Just kind of make sure it's it's snug enough where it just starts to get tight okay there's no need for it to to go crazy okay so i'll go ahead and speed this up real okay guys so i'm here just finishing up this last screw here and then once uh, once I'm done with this, we'll go ahead and let me see what do I want to do here. I think I'm going to go ahead and install our, our radiator here for our um, what you might call it for the heat sink. Okay, I think that's the it's kind of the most bulkiest thing out of the way, so that way we can um, get the finishing up and start um, installing all the cables that we need, and then we're going to install the uh, the hard drives over here. We're gonna start the hard drive and, and the CD-ROM over here as well. So stay tuned for that. Uh, thank you very much for watching, and uh, don't forget to subscribe underneath here, so that way you don't miss the next part of the build, and um, it should be fun. So yeah, thank you very much. Have a good one, guys. See ya.